Good afternoon, guys. This is Dr. Craig. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. The Son, and the Holy Spirit, um, St. Thomas Aquinas. Pray for us. You may sit down. Can you just check um, the alignment of your chairs and pick up any litter you find? Thank you. Um, Mr. Secretary, you may know if there are any absences today. Uh, all are present. Okay, good. I'm excited that you all are here because we will um, think like a computer today. Are you all excited? Yeah! <laughs> okay. So first, let us start by trying to figure out um, what do you understand about the following expressions, okay? How do you understand this expression, this sentence? I what do you think it means? I should be yes. I How are you? How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Any other guesses? I love you. I love you. I love you is correct. I should mas is I love you in Japanese. Okay? Next. How about this one? Nolimitangere. What do you understand about Nolimitangere? Touch me not. Touch me not. Very good. How about this one? Despacito. 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 So all of these are all expressions in different languages. So what we just did is translation. So we use um, we converted the expression from one language to another. Okay, can anyone tell me what is the importance of language? For communication. For communication, any other ideas? For people to understand one another? Yes. So Language is primarily uh, our way of communicating with each other. So we communicate through words. But how do you think commu computers communicate? Do they, do they speak? Do they talk? How do you think they communicate? To coding. To coding, yeah. Numbers. Numbers. Exactly. Computers, um, they communicate through um, what we call binary language, which makes use of two digits, either zero and one. The basic unit of information that a computer can understand is called a bit. If you form 8 bits, it's called a byte. Okay? So for the binary language, they use the binary number system. The number systems are named based from what their exponents are. So from this um, example, the exponent is the superscript and the base is the number. So for the binary number systems, they have two values from the prefix pi, so it's either 0 and 1. We all know the decimal number systems. They are formed using the numerals 0 through 9. The octal number system is a number system which has a base of 8, so they have 8 numerals. So it's from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. For hexadecimal, they have base 16. But how, how do we use uh, the hexable, hexadecimal number system if we only have nine numerals? So they make use of the letters A through F. So letter A would be the will have a value of 10. Letter, uh, letter A would have a value of, yeah, sorry, 10. B would have a number of 11, C 12, D 13, E 14, and F 15. So we'll discuss the other uh, number systems at length in our next lesson. Let's focus first on decimal and binary. So I have here the base 2 conversion table. So it's based from um, a base of 2 and an exponent starting from 0 all through 1. So I made it simpler for all of you guys. So it's 2 raised to 0 is 1, 2 raised to 2, uh, 2 raised to 0 is 1, 2 raised to 1 is 2, 2 raised to 2 is 4, and so on and so forth. So to solve for 85, what we did is we got the value of 64 times the base. What is the base of a binary number system? 2. The exponent here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we got the other values. I'm sorry, this is 1, 0. Base of 2 again, 6 plus 1. Base of 2, 5 plus 0. Base of 2, 4 plus 1. Base of 2, exponent 3 plus 0. Base of 2, exponent 2 plus 1. 
base of two exponent one. I'm sorry, this is six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Does it does it look like something we could um, solve? Does it look complicated to you? Yes. 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 Um, can anyone tell me what the zero property in multiplication is? Well, when you multiply a number to zero, yeah, there is zero. Exactly. So we don't need to solve for everything that has zero. So we just need to add the values for the numbers that have a value of one. For example, 2 raised to 6, we know that to be 64. 2 raised to 4, we know that to be 16. 2 raised to 2, we know that to be as 4. And 2 raised to 0 would be 1. So all we need to do is add the following, num following numbers, and what sum do we come up with? 85. 85. 85. Okay. Can anyone do numbers 2 on the board? So for these numbers, you don't have to um, solve for the values of 1, but simply by using the table, add the numbers that have a value of 1. So can anyone solve for 1? 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, using the table. Someone number, number two, number three on the board, number four, and then number five. Number three. Yes. One Just 
copy the the values of the exponents because you may have to multiply it to number two uh, to the numbers two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is the simplest form for the binary number system. We'll discuss the other number systems at length on our next meeting. For now, uh, we'll have an activity. So I have here numbers using the binary number system. I will allow you to solve for it on your seats and then tell me the number and then try to guess which number they correspond with the objects on the board. So you can all take one. And then any, everyone who gets the correct answer will get a prize. Canada. I don't have it. So we'll start from what is your number? Can we tell you? My number is zero, 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 one, one, zero. And what does that correspond with? The one, the six. Six. What do you think six is here? Can I you think. I think. This one. Six keys in a piano. We'll find out later. Okay. okay. Next volunteer. Um, uh, sir, sir, Sebastian. Zero zero one zero zero one zero. Okay, what is the decimal value? Uh, eighty one. Eighty one. Can you guess? <laughs> Next one, AC. What's your number? Number is zero zero one zero one zero zero. Okay, what is it in decimal form? Twenty one. What has 21? Okay, you can take a while, yes. Okay, alright. Next one here. Um, what's your number? 0001001. Okay, what is it in decimal form? 9. Brains of an octopus. Okay. Next, sir Ed, what's your number? One zero 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 one zero. Okay, what is it? Decimal four. Sixty-six. Sixty-six. What has sixty-six? My side. Okay. Last. What is your number? One zero one one zero zero zero. Okay. Eighty. What has eighty-eight? Who answer the books in the Bible? You are correct. Oh. Oh. Right. Who answer the best. brains of an octopus? Isha, that is correct. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's give the, the next two surprise. Who answer the provinces in the Philippines? Sir, that is correct also. He's in a piano. Who answered that? Sir Leo. Okay. The keys in the piano are the, the ivory and the ivory, yes. the black and white key. So we know that's more than six. Yes. Okay. So actually, there are 88 keys in the piano. You don't have a prize. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, there six stars in Australia. Six stars. Yeah. That is why. And then there are veggies. Okay, we get the last one. Okay. Actually, there are only oh. 18 vegetables in time. So we have 21. Sides and hands. So these are all the uh, I don't think you will use some, you will use, but the others <laughs> are only useful on visuals. Okay, so we all learned something new today, not just the, the number systems. Does the class have any questions?
Okay. Um, you will uh, have to prepare yourself for a quiz, short quiz on binary number systems, and then we'll continue on discussion with conversion from by, from this uh, from sorry from octal and hexadecimal to uh, decimal number system on our next meeting. So for today, let us close our session with a prayer. So we so all stand up. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Thomas Aquinas. Pray for us. Goodbye, class. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.